Welcome to The Upshot for the 11th of August. I'm Nadine Blaney. Well, today's big reports have come through from Telstra, AMP, QVE, and Mervac, which is seeing a great day on markets today, just to name a few. <laughs> that being said, let's take a look at today's top three. Getting across Telstra results, it's reported full year profits have dipped $4.6 billion to $1.8 billion. Total revenue and earnings both fell, however, still within expectations. It did manage to lift its dividend for the first time in seven years. Shareholders will get an eight and a half cent per share dividend, taking the full year payout to 16 and a half cents. CEO Andrew Penn says he has set out four years ago to fundamentally change Telstra for the better. He wanted to simplify and digitize the business. And he says that that hard work is starting to come to fruition. Here in which we see the last of the economic headwinds as a consequence of uh, the migration to the MBN. And so to your point, whilst on the one hand our income EBITDA and NetPAT was down 5%, actually our underlying EBITDA was up 8.4% to 7.3 billion and underlying earnings per share was up almost 50%. And that's why the board has the confidence in the future with our growth aspirations for next year and over the next few years so here's a tweet for some analysis. Scott Phillips, why you should read the details and not just the headlines of an earnings release using Telstra as an example. All the stats are listed there. Telstra increases dividend spin, my pretties, he says, because of course that was the headline coming from the company. Well, AMP expects its net interest margin to continue to improve in the second half as interest rates rise. Margins hit 1.32% in the first half. Underlying net profit fell, though, to $117 million, with wealth management cash outflows hitting $1.9 billion in the first half. NPAT lifted to $481 million off the back of those divestments. In addition to returning a further $750 million of capital to shareholders, AMP plans to continue to pay down corporate debt and says the sale of its Collimate Capital business remains on track. Shareholders in AMP will not see an interim dividend. And Mervac shares having a great day after full year revenue jumped 20%. With it, Mervac has seen a small bump in profits with a distribution of 10.2 cents per share declared. It says it's well positioned to navigate macroeconomic and geopolitical uncertainty, which it does expect to continue. Still, it's guiding for operating earnings of at least 15 and a half cents per share and distributions of at least 10 and a half um, per security as well. And that's today's Upshot. Thanks for joining us.